Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you have clicked on this video, it is likely because you have a Petunia Pickle Bottom product or you are looking to purchase one. So today I'm gonna to be your big sister and I'm gonna let you know a little bit of a secret that they have with a warranty. Um, I'm really just kind of kidding about it being a secret warranty, but I didn't know about it until like a week or so ago and I've never heard anything about it. Um, it's probably in there and I just haven't done like thorough research, but I feel like if I had known, I would have done something about this a lot sooner. So I'm going to kind of just show you and tell you how it went for me. And I'm going to show you my new product because like I said, my story is probably a little different than it would be for somebody else. Um, but I just wanted to go ahead and show you, show you everything. So First, I'm gonna start off by saying that I love Petunia Pickle Bottom as a brand. I love all of their products. I've never really been disappointed by a product or their customer service or anything like that. Um, but my district backpack, this is the Cinderella District backpack. I won't lie and say that I didn't see the reviews about this backpack before I purchased it, but I honestly didn't really care because I love this print. I just think it's adorable and it's girly and I just really love it. So when I was looking at reviews for this backpack, I seen a lot of people complain about the issue that I ended up having with it. And that is that the zipper will come apart from the like inside of the, like the actual structure of the backpack. And everything else has been great. I've seen other people talk also about how the clip on this, like the seams will come apart from like this area or like up here. Like I've just seen different things about the actual like sewing part of this. And I I honestly didn't really care. Like I said, I really liked this and I, saw, I just decided I was gonna get it either way. So anyways, I've had this backpack for almost, well, I was gonna say almost two years. It's coming up on two years. So when I purchased, I actually didn't purchase this. I got it as a baby shower gift for my daughter. So I think my baby shower was in August. And so it might've been purchased in July or August, one of the two. So either which way, like it's February, almost March now. So coming up on the two year mark. Um, That was in 2022. Yes, 2022. So anyways, I didn't actually purchase this, but I ended up reaching out to the customer service line for Petunia and I just kind of said like, hey, and I sent pictures and I was like, this is what's going on. Is there anything that I can do for this? Or like, is there any way that I could, like, is there any kind of warranty? And they said, when did you purchase this? And I had to send them all the purchase, notif like all the purchase information. And um, so, since I got this from a baby shower, I did have it on a registry and who bought it for me did get it off of the registry. So I was able to send them like when it was purchased and all of that information. And so they said, okay, we can go ahead and do that because it's within the two year date of purchase. So you only have about two years in order to do this, but I highly recommend doing this and I will tell you why in just a moment. But Anyways, I also had to send, like, there's a, they'll, te they'll tell you a whole list of all the things that you need to send them in order to go through with the warranty. I um, mean, it's really not, it's not anything crazy <laughs> at all. The hardest part for me was to locate the date that it was purchased and the proof of purchase. They want both of those two things. So if you bought the, if you bought a Petunia Pickle Bottom product in store, um, I highly recommend moving forward if you have or if you have are you like are going to hold on to your receipt because you're going to need a proof of purchase if you have any sort of issue or flaw with this that you will need to use the warranty so with all that being said this is what it looked like i like i said it probably started i don't know within the first year and it just gotten more and more severe as time had gone on and um so anyway i, I don't know i so I, when I reached out to them, they were like, we'll love to, you know, send you another one. Like, we're going to go ahead and get that approved. And so whenever they sent me that, they sent a follow-up email letting me know that the um, print that I have and the size that I have is not available. So they said, go ahead and pick out a, another product with worth the same price or less. So I said, okay. 
and I figured I would unbox my new Petunia Pickle Bottom with you. So, um, it's still in the box. I did cut it open so that it's easier for me to get into it, but I haven't like actually opened it up out of the, the packaging or anything yet because I figured I would do it with you. So, super excited. I ended up getting, I'll tell you in just a minute. Let me get it out here. It's so cute. It is another Disney themed one. Um, it's actually the Boxy Backpack Shimmery Minnie Mouse. And I'm obsessed with it already. I was trying to pick between this print and, sorry, with the reflection from my ring light and the aerial um print but i already have the aerial print in the diaper clutch which i have a review of that um linked i'll link that above it's on my channel so um i was kind of like do i want something in the same print as that or do i want something with a different print and so i went ahead and went with this so this is what i bought and i say bought this is what they given me as my warranty like i said that probably won't always be the case if your product whatever it is that you have a flaw with if it's still available on the website they will likely just re like give you another one of those but since mine was not available this is what they allowed me to pick from. so it was on sale this this backpack or yeah this backpack was originally 215 dollars i think and it was actually on sale for 107 dollars so it was actually less than what i bought or what my original backpack was full price if that if you get that just with the sale if it was if it wasn't on sale it it would have been out of my price range as far as that because i think my district backpack was 164 dollars so, yeah, that's how that went. So everything's still kind of wrapped up here. Sorry about the reflection, but um, oh, I'm just, I'm so excited. So there's, I have to like lean this against my face. It opens up here. It's clipped. Sticker. Here we go. It's magnetic and it has buckles, like little clips here. If you can see that. But there's like a magnetic, I don't know if you can see that, it's... There's a, a couple of magnets in there. So then it opens up like so. And then there's these zippers here that you can unzip. Sorry, I'm doing, <laughs> doing this as best as I can. And it opens up to be a large changing pad that's like built in. So I love this because we do have a trip coming up in the next few weeks that this will be super nice for like the airport or you know just changing her on the go um because i really i'm really weird about changing tables <laughs> i'm sure a lot of you are because they're pretty gross oh i didn't show i didn't really say anything but i probably showed them there are two pockets right here two large ones so you can put diapers and wipes in them or like diapers and wipes and then an outfit or you know whatever but they're really they're quite large and this is actually really squishy coat like it's got a lot of squish to it. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually pretty thick. It's like a foam. Um, also, it has a Velcro piece so you can remove it and wipe it down and, you know, do whatever you want to do with that for sanitary purposes. Sorry, I had to set it down so I can fix it. Oh, I took one of the things off the zippers here. Okay, let me just take these things off the zippers because it's kind of hard to... Okay, also look at how cute this little, it's like a, it's like a, it's a keychain. Okay, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can get it off or if I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to have to cut this in order to actually get this little piece off. But it's a little mini Mouse, <laughs> little mini Mouse head and she's just like squishy with a little bow and she's just the keychain. So adorable. And then there's two, obviously, two really large insulated pockets on the sides here for bottles, which is really nice. And then also, I'll go around to the back here, too, since we haven't made our way inside yet. There's also this zipper in the back. Oops. And it's actually, it's a decent size. Like, you could definitely put, like, a phone back there. And, I don't know, it's, like, pretty deep. So, 
I could put quite a bit back there. I will honestly probably use it. We're going to be flying on our upcoming trip. So I'll actually probably try to put the copies of my kids' birth certificates in there because you have to have that when you're flying. So um, I'll probably put that in there since it'll be like against my back. Okay, let's make our way inside. Sorry about the awkward viewing here. I'm not like in a great setup to show you, but I'm doing my best. So you open this up and the actual... Actually, it's the, so this is to have it go like as a crossbody. Um, I probably won't really use it that way, but I like having the option because it definitely, I like having options. So that's just what's right in here. It's, it's actually like zip tied on here. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be able to get it off. I'm just gonna kind of pull it out of the way. Okay, another big thing for me with this purchase or purchase. I keep calling it a purchase. Obviously it was a warranty, but um, like picking this one specifically is that it came with these loops that you can attach to your stroller. So what you do is you actually, you clip them to these little loops that the cross body belt is on. And you, so before you do that, you wanna loop this around and pull it through so that it's actually like this on your stroller. Oops. That's not a very good thing here, but it, you want it to be like this so that it's like really attached to your stroller and then you can clip it on either side so it's easy to get into. I plan on doing a bunch of like pre-trip videos um, coming very soon on my channel and I plan on doing a stroller setup so I can better show you on that video exactly what that looks like on your stroller, but that was a major, a major like thing for me with this bag because of that because I like the hands-free I'm an ADHD mom and I need to be hands-free as much as possible and it's really hard to do that whenever you have two small children and all the things that go along with them so I'm gonna pull this stuff out so we can better look inside here another big thing that I liked about this backpack is that it's really wide my other backpack it didn't hold its structure very well I don't know if you were able to really see that but it kind of just like lumps up. If there's not a bunch of stuff in there, it doesn't really hold its shape very well. And I can tell by this one, it really has um, a lot more like structure there, which I really like. Get all the junk out. So now that it's all opened up, there's two large pockets on the front side here. And then there's another two large pockets on the sides. And then there is a little zipper pouch another little zipper cover here that you can put it's, it's actually quite deep like my whole hand fits in there all the way up to my wrist it's where you can put you know whatever stuff you want to keep in there I'll probably keep like diaper cream and you know things like that in there but look at just how like big and structure like I just love the structure of this I think it's I think it's really well made I just really like it. I really, really like it. I'm super excited about it. It's so girly, which is what I was kind of looking for. I like the girly prints because I'm a girl, I guess. I don't know. I just like that kind of stuff. I just think it's so darling. And I, I got it like free, which is just like the craziest thing ever. So that is that. I just think it is so precious. It, it also has those, the gonna pull this down so you can see but I really like their straps too they are like really squishy and cushy um it, it's like um I don't know it almost kind of reminds me of like memory foam I don't know if you can see that very well so nice though it really is it's super nice I just love this I think that it is very precious and I'm really excited to use it. I'm really excited because of our vacation coming up. I'm ex excited to just see how much this thing aids me during the travel. Because this is going to be Briar's very first time going on a plane and, you know, traveling like that. So, we'll see. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Pray for me. <laughs> so, anyways, that is my new Petunia Pickle Bottom bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope that you, if you need to make use of that warranty, you do so because it's worth it. It is worth it. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.